15. I'm sure you won't mind, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, such as the closeness of these matches as we move into the finals here on Final Sunday. So thank you to Harry and Dave. The court is now prepared. Please get behind the players now to welcome into the arena. Please welcome the first women singing semi-finalist, Kelly Sibley. And Kelly's opponent, the second women single semi-finalist. Please welcome Hannah Hicks. Good luck to both players. Game on.
And Matt, I think this could be quite an interesting game. The number one seed, of course, Kelly, but First Hannah game. Hicks, you know, seeded number serve. four, an experienced Level. player. How do you see this one going? Uh, well, it's going to be a close one. Kelly, obviously, been competing uh, recently in Kuala Lumpur, played very well, uh, took a, one, uh, a, a lead role uh, for that women's team. But Hannah has been competing regularly in the Swedish National League. Kelly very experienced against defence, so uh, I think we'll be in for a good match. One all. Yeah, it's very interesting. Hannah Hicks has a what we'd probably call a defensive style. Drops away from the table, quite happy to go away and use backspin. But she also attacks very well as well, so it's going to be interesting to see how Kelly handles the backspin. And there we see that straight away. Drops away. Two, one. Great variation of strokes there by Kelly. Uh, bring her opponent into the table close and take her out quickly with a strong foreign attack. One, three. Trying to come underneath the ball there and impart a lot of backspin. One, Kelly there four. just taking the time, keeping the ball going, and it's really an unforced error there by Hicks pushing the ball off the end of the table. Interesting to look at her bat. She uses what we call a combination bat. Split normal reverse rubber on one side and then a pimple surface on the other. The pimple's good for imparting four, bats. Two. Occasionally turns the racket round just to try and create a little bit of variation, make life difficult for the attacking player. Five, two. Well positioned topspin there from Sibley down the middle of the table. Hicks not sure whether to play a backhand or forehand. Ended up playing from a very cramped position. Two, six. There we saw Hannah just starting to change things a little bit, coming in with foreign attack when she's back from the table. And really important she does that if she's going to give herself an opportunity in this first game. Two, seven. Sibley playing well, playing very consistent, taking her time. Eight, a little bit of good two. fortune there, that topspin just caught the edge of the table. And so now Sibley leads by eight points to two. It is, of course, the best of seven games, each game to 11 points. So the first player to win four games through to the final. Nine, two. That's good, consistent attack in there by Kelly. Playing Hannah out wide to a backhand. And then change of direction, Hannah unable to make that next shot. Two, ten. And a little bit of good fortune again for Sibley. Arguably at nine, two, she didn't need the, the, the good luck, but she now has eight game points. Three, ten. Steps around the backhand to play a forehand topspin. And still seven game points in favour of Sibley. Got it. Game 11, there it is. Kelly Sibley wins three, the first, first game 11 3 and leads by one Sibley game to nil. for the start of the second game. Kelly Sibley there on screen, won the first game quite comfortably, 11-3. Hannah Hicks there, didn't really get into any sort of rhythm. 
Matt, you were out in Malaysia with the England women's team. You were the coach to the women's team. If you were coaching Hannah Hicks here, Second she's game. against the number one Sydney seed. Serve. She's just lost 11-3. What sort of advice would you be giving her? Well, she's uh, she's got to be a little bit more aggressive with even with her defensive style, uh, trying to get more spin on the ball, but looking to vary the sort of defence with the attack as well. Try and alter that pace against Kelly, try and throw a rhythm. Um, that will put Kelly under a little bit more pressure, maybe make her a little bit more hesitant. One, oh. A bit of fortune there for Hannah. One, two. Consistent top spins from Sibley, reading the spin well. Hicks varying the spin, sometimes goes through the ball, not a lot of backspin, then the next minute underneath the ball, a little bit more backspin. But again, that forehand defensive One. shot, a little bit too high. Sibley did well, came in with the smash, we'll see that again. Here's the top spin from Sibley, the return a little bit high. But what a good smash, straight through the ball into the body of Hicks. Three, two. Backspin there from Hicks. Came underneath the ball. Three, two, Sibley leads. Confirmation on the board there. Eight, two, two, four. I think Hannah just needs to use a little bit more of the table, playing a lot of the... A lot of the shots down the middle of the table and wide to the forehand. Plays into Kelly's hands a little bit. She's uh, a strong attacking player, especially on the forehand side. So Hannah really needs to try and use that table more and try and get Kelly out of position a bit more. The long, fast serve from Hicks there, just off the end of the table. Oh, that's a wonderful counter top spin from Sibley. Held the ground. Hicks came in, attacked strongly herself, as we'll see on the replay. There's the forehand. But that's a wonderful counter top spin. Took the ball early. Good use of the elbow and wrist. Seven, two. And Kelly using that long fast serve. Putting Hannah under pressure, moving her away from the table early on in the rally. And that's allowing Kelly to control the rally from the start. Two, eight. And again, a very Competent performance here by Kelly Sibley so far. Hicks is doing everything she can to break up the rhythm that the attacking players establish, varying the spin, looking to attack when she gets the opportunity. But Sibley races to a 9-2 lead in this second game, having won the first game 11-3. Oh, you can't stop her at the moment. That was a great backhand top spin off the bounce. So Hannah trying to change things up and, and come in with the attack, but Kelly looking very sharp, ready for everything that's thrown at her. That's great attacking by Kelly Sibley. She wins the second game 11-2 and leads by two games to nil.
Third game. Hicks to serve. Level. Hicks to serve at the start of the third game. Two games to nil in favour of Sibley. One plus. Convincing games at that 11 2, 11 3. Players there doing well. Hannah Hicks getting into a little bit of a rhythm there. That's what she has to do. She can't afford to make unforced errors. She's got to try and vary the spin when she's away from the table with her defence. Chop the ball heavy. Get it fizzing with backspin. And then throw Two, what we call one. the float in as well. That's the defensive shot with no spin. But again opens up a lead albeit one point at the moment 2-1 two, two, oh. and a good point there by Hannah looking a little bit more aggressive using her wrist more trying to get more spin on the ball and like you said before Don just keeping the ball lower which makes makes things much harder for Kelly two three Little shriek there from Hannah Hicks. She was disappointed there, an unforced error by her high standards. Three, four. And that was a bit of variation there by Hannah. Um, if you watched her closely, she actually spun the bat in hand, making it harder for Kelly. If she's not watching closely, you're not sure if she's getting the, the pimpled rubber or the, the reverse rubber. Three. It's the red side of Hicks's racket that is the pimples. Rodden Fulham coaching Hannah Hicks here in the semi final of the women's singles. Three, five. Sibley now 5 3 in the lead with her two serves. I thought it was. Sibley to serve, it's not, it's Hannah Hicks. Three, six. That's a great shot there by Kelly. Hannah trying to change things. Coming in with fine topspin, Kelly. Ready and waiting, and a great counter topspin there to win the point. Six, four. Good attacking skills from Hannah Hicks, turning defence into attack. And that's probably what she needs to to do a little bit more, throw caution to the wind. She's up against the number one seed. She's nothing to lose. Seven, four. Again, she was trying to push. She pushing it long. Kelly's mother there, Lynn Sibley, in the coaching corner. Interesting dynamics. Mother daughter. It's worked well so Five, far. Five, seven. That was a good shot there by Hannah using the red pimpled rubber. Kelly putting good topspin on the ball, but Hannah aggressive with that chop. Misreading how much spin was on the ball and puts the ball in the bottom of the net. Five, eight. Tried to guide that ball back. Hicks with a little bit of topspin made the error. Just since she's beginning to play better, Hannah Hicks, she's. Nine, five. Of course, she loses this game 3 0 down. Then she has to win four games back to back. And that's a really tough call against the number one seed. And here she is Kelly Sibley. 9 5 up. 10 5. And now races to five game points. the size of the table there of course the side doesn't count if it hits the edge then that's good the ball caught the side of the table one game point saved four remain 
seven, ten. Well done, Hannah Hicks. Two game points saved. Three more. Can she do it? Hey, no, she can't. That's seven, a good smash seven, from Kelly Sibley. Okay. She it takes the third game 11 7 and leads by three games to nil. Players now back at the table for the fourth game. Fourth game. Sibley to serve. Level. Anna Hicks in black. A mountain to climb. She's playing the number one seed. She's three games to nil down. Matt, you were coaching the England women's team two weeks ago. What advice would you give her in this situation? Well, Hannah showed in that last end. She was trying to be more aggressive, put Kelly under more pressure, and you could see that by the flight of the ball, staying a lot lower. Um, and she's trying to combine her defensive style with attack as well. She needs to try and use more of the table and try and get Kelly out more out of position. So Kelly looking to step round and play that forehand. She can use that against her there, trying to get out wide to the forehand and try and get her out of position, but needs to be aggressive and really needs to change the pace and direction on that table. One, two. Probably the right thing to do, have a go. The, the return was slightly high, but it was deep. And she tried to hit it with her backhand. Hannah Hicks. Right, top. Three, one. But Sibley's made a good start. Three, one. Sibley now with her two serves to come as well. Great play by Kelly. Controlling the rally from the very start. Good serve deep into the backhand. Hannah pushed away from the table. Kelly always in control. Being patient with the attack. And then when she got the opportunity, attacks wide to the forehand. And timeout called. Each player has the opportunity to call one timeout during the match. It's a one minute break. An opportunity for the coaches to have some advice to their respective players. And of course, here, Broden, Full, and the coach of Hannah Hicks will be sensing this fourth game slipping away at 4 1 down. Call timeout, try and break the momentum. And there we have mother daughter. They'll be very happy with the situation, but I'm sure. Lynn will be reminding Kelly that she needs to stay focused. She's still got a little bit of work to do to secure her place in the final of the National oh, um. Table Tennis Championships. One, she just can't afford to make those errors, can she, Matt? As a defensive player, one of the hallmarks of a world-class defensive player is very, very few unforced errors. And Hannah just making one or two more than she would like. 
That's a break back on down the line. Held the ground. Used the reverse rubber. He just punched it down the line. Yeah, fantastic shot there by Hannah. Spun the bat in the hand. Have the reverse rubber and great shot down the line. Six, two. As you say, Don, just too many unforced errors there by Hannah. Can't afford to do that as a defensive player. Six, three. Sibley there going for the forehand topspin down the line. It's always a little bit more difficult down the line. It's a smaller target to aim for. I think Hannah just trying to stay up the table a little bit more, Three, but that's seven. just affecting the timing. Well, the reason why there's a few more enforced errors creeping in. Kelly looking, looking confident and very much in control. Topspin from Hannah Hicks. See that on the replay. She's away from the table. So there it is. Just a little bit of topspin on the ball. It kicks. Eight, four. Fortune favouring Kelly Sibley. Eight, four, three points now away from her place in the final. She is the number one seed. She's playing well. Hannah Hicks has put up her admirable performance possibly a few too many unforced errors that she'll be disappointed with but her tactics have been good Nine, four. and good play that by, by kelly hannah keeping the ball low but kelly very much on the ball with that and he was a little bit closer taking this game and taking the match four, ten. six match points for kelly sibley Five, ten. A little bit more topspin on the hick serve than she thought. That's a ten, good forehand six. smash into the body of Sibley. She has just won two consecutive points with service. She now has the problem of facing the Sibley serve. Clench fist punches the air. Sibley takes the fourth game, 11 points to six. She's now through to the final of the women's singles. A pretty comprehensive performance, Matt. Yeah, Kelly very much in control from the very start there. Keeping composed, good focus. Always in the driving seat, controlling the, dictating the, the rate of play. Hannah. Try to change things if she needed to, trying to be more aggressive, but it was just a little too, li too little too late, and Kelly dominant and shows why she's the England number one. Excellent performance from the number one seed. Played well, played tactically, very shrewd. Read the spins well. And there she is doing a little lap of honour. And we'll just enjoy a few of the points from this semi-final. And there, a classic example of the unforced error. It worked ever so well during that rally. Hannah, and then just a, a relatively simple push into the net. Good block down the line to win that point. Just showing why she's so dominant. Strong attacking play all the time. Too much for Hannah to handle. And a good performance to take her into the women's singles final.